Good morning. I'm Mark Birchfield, Director of Golf Course Maintenance. We're down in the shop area of where we take care of all the equipment and keep things running. We're going to go out and look at a couple pieces of equipment in a moment and I'll explain what's going on when we get there. We've been down with both of these mowers for two to three weeks, off and on. And we're finally getting the parts in today and we'll get going. But these two mowers are essential for us to keep the golf course roughs mowed. So we're out here on the 18th fairway. Actually, we're in the roughs where we're having the most problems with maintaining and keeping up the frequency of the mowing. Due to these machines not working uh, for the last three weeks, we've been having to really try to keep up and we're not able to. As you can see, the turf itself is cut, but then we've got a lot of large clippings. And the clippings are a mess because we've got to clean those up as well. They're no fun to have and it tracks all over the golf course, on the cart paths, and it's just unsightly. This is the rough. This is my hand. Normally it would be lower than this. And this is pretty thick and you put this stuff in there and it makes it even more challenging for the golfer. Our job is really to keep up on this and that is our our goal every week. So as we're going forward, we will hopefully have these machines running in the next 48 hours. We're out here on the 12th hole and we've got the large Trimax. Uh, it's pulled by a tractor. It takes up a lot of areas, but we can't really take it to the edges because of the roots and stuff from the trees. But here, this is what we've depended on pretty much for the last three weeks. And it's great, but it is very, uh, it, it, we can't get around the walls, the trees, and some of the other smaller areas. Well, this is an area that I'm standing that just got mowed by the Trimax. And you can see that it's, it's fairly tidy. It's, you know, we got leaves and stuff, but here's where we weren't at, where it has not been mowed yet. And you can see the distinct distance or difference between the two. And uh, as Hernan passes up, goes out in here, you can just see the thickness that we're dealing with. So what we do is we, when this mower's going, we have two other mowers that are more nimble and smaller that can go around all these areas and accompany this mower, which brings it all together in a very good and clean way. With the clippings, we're having to mow twice. That's because we have to mow them up. Look at all those clippings coming out. Due to the amount of turf that we mow in the rough areas alone, we're only able to get around one to one and a half times a week. With the clippings this tall, it slows us down because we've got to double cut these clippings and mulch it. So generally speaking, if we're not mulching it, we're blowing it off late in the afternoon when it's dry. So this is part of the predicament we're in. Uh, moving forward, we will get these other two mowers going and we will stay on top of it and do a better job. But this is gonna be, it's part of the environment and it is part of uh, the realities of not having frequency constantly going around and redoing this repetitively. Thank you.